Welcome back to the Oaks. We are loaded up with our eggs and we are off to the farmer's market to get them sold. It's a decent price in November for eggs, so thought we'd make the most of that. I have seeded uh, field 80 with barley and that has now germinated and we've got weeds. So as soon as we've sold these eggs we're going to be grabbing the case with the narrow tyres on and going and working in field 80 and any of our other fields that need spraying off and then we're going to be advancing through time a little bit more just to uh, yeah, get through these autumn and winter months because there's not a fat lot to do around the farm so up here up here up here on our on to the left <laughs> up here on our left is the farmer's market let's let that car just stop right in the way so we can swing out a bit so never been up this part of the map before and i do apologize if the beacons were a bit harsh on anybody's eyes whilst we were going through the trees just uh yeah got a bit uh, bright and a bit flashy didn't it so yeah that's why i turned them off then but money is shooting up rather nicely let's see how much we end up with a nice 52 59 60 grand Not bad for 12,000 litres of eggs so I think what we'll do is we'll put this on auto drive to make its way back down to the farm and we will grab the sprayer so in field 82 and uh, <laughs> look at those tram lines beautiful and the spreader lines up perfectly so that's uh, all good just catching the edge of the field which is what we want keep away from that hedgerow you uh, remember my excuse from the first time we did the tram lines in field two yeah it was to protect the birds from the uh, herbicide that was the excuse anyway so yeah i went for barley i wasn't sure and um, we're going to put beans in field two that'll be a nice decent crop off there hopefully so yeah went for barley um just because we can get the straw it yields well it's not the biggest of fields so yeah that was my logic there we weeded sorry we weeded we sprayed herbicide in the field in front of us last time so we don't need to do that um nitrogen should be good as well because we uh, obviously use the horse drill with all the fertilizer in that so there should be no problems there so i do think it's just a case of getting the spraying done that's why I've set the time to times five as well, because we don't need to be precious about uh, running at a reduced speed. Let's just navigate our way around here. Might be some little bits in the corners that get missed. And the hedges are nice and springy, so jobs are good. Un. I do want to, at some point, try a different uh, drill. Um, obviously it wouldn't be quite as big but something that's not quite as long maybe so I'm thinking about trying the uh, where are we cedars uh, probably end up trying maybe the Lemkin or the Vagestat we know a quick trick to uh, make the Lemkin a direct drill um, just because I'm thinking that these are quite long um, so it might be easier making the tram lines a bit more neat 
uh, with a not so long drill but uh, yeah it might be in a little test I do might make a quick video out of it I don't know yet it's just a thought that's popped into my head so yeah uh, where are we today so we are on Wednesday mod finally released yesterday so that was cool um yeah dead chuffed um, like a kid really and i saw pending release on uh, the mod hub login page uh, so yeah all good thank you to those that have downloaded it and used it and like it and have rated it a decent rating so yeah it's all good um general comments were positive i think i've had a bad comment actually about it um but there's a few like potato ones that, that people want and possibly grain which would be quite cool um but as with most things it's just having the time to sit and do it but the basis of it is there now so it should be <laughs> fingers crossed relatively small uh, tweaks I need to come straight and stay within the tram line so yeah that's something that I'll hopefully get to look at um, at some point so it'd be cool to get a bit of a pack together maybe and yeah get it updated on the mod hub so from this angle you can really see the spray pattern from the sea and spray I always go to say scratch and sniff does anybody else remember those? They, they were cards, weren't they? And or um, different little books. I seem to remember. Yeah, very weird things. Um, one other thing, and it's a question for proper farmers, not um. Oh, what was it? What was the saying I saw? Actor in a tractor. <laughs> Quite like that. Um spraying speed for a trailed sprayer this seems slow to me i don't know 100 percent what it should be is this right um so it just seemed rather slow and i know that you've got to give the uh sea and spray half a chance to work and spot the weeds but yeah it just seems overly slow to me what i am going to do though is knock down the cruise control and just turn off the sprayer so we can get around to the next up and down you'll see in places the tram lines are a little bit untidy but hey it's not going to be perfect so we are on lovely so yeah what speed do you think we should go do we keep it at the seven miles an hour seven or eight miles an hour we keep bouncing between the two or is it quicker in real life i would quite like to know because if i can get a job done quicker then i am all for that Just positioning ourselves onto the last tram line down the field. Oh, got a bit squiffy then. Get that straightened up. And, uh, oh, that is. Huh? How's that work then? I've been round the headland. 
Hmm. <laughs> Oops. May need to uh, just go over that bit again, maybe. But uh, yeah, all in all, it's worked well. It's not taken long, which is another good thing. I am loving 36 meter working width on this sprayer. It is phenomenal. So, oh, just nudge that little bit there. Is it going to get that? There we go. So slightly out for some reason. Not quite sure as to why. But uh, all in all, not too shabby. I think what it is, is where the tram line kicks out around the corner. That's where we've gone slightly off piste. But luckily we've got uh, narrow wheels on and we're not going to destroy any of the crop. So we'll do this little bit. I think, uh, yeah, I might have forgot to come back up <laughs> one of the rows, possibly. But it doesn't ring a bell. But never mind. So we can turn that off and fold up the sprayer. And we'll head on to the next field. Get that knocked out. And then we can start to really move through the months into field 80 and first headland well the headland is done and a couple of up and down rows and the barley is looking pretty good a few little patches where the tram lines are a touch messy again but I'm not too fussed about it now you can tell that the weather is getting better well at least for a couple of days in the UK as uh, well near me at least they are starting to cut grass so the other evening there were multiple uh, tractors and I think they were Stuart silage trailers uh, going past the house and uh, in the distance you could hear the were of the chopper and then coming back from work today there was a class tractor couldn't see which one but it was definitely a class um, with a I don't know what you call it two spindle windrow windrower um, that was uh, windrowing up some grass in, uh, in one field and then a bit further down the road there was another one that had been obviously cut and then teddied out so the farmers are as usual making the best of the good weather getting the silage work done and I think uh, if you've watched FSG's video where he went to a farm in Cheshire they'd really been struggling to get it off and uh, yeah, the field was uh, a little bit damp, I think you could say, in places. But yeah, that was really cool to see some actual proper real-life farming. So yeah, got the drone up and whatnot, so that was a good watch. But yeah, it's... Uh, I think uh, even his dad was saying that it's the wettest sort of April and May that he can recall. So... Uh, and I can vouch for that. We've had some really rubbish weather. But hopefully, as he looks out the window, sun shining and uh, farmers can get done what they need to. Last little bit of field 80. And then the spraying for now is done. I did check the uh, precision farming menu and the grass fields are all okay as well. I think we can probably turn off at that point and fold up the sprayer. There we go. Excellent. So we can get off the field 
Now, this episode is being recorded before the last one has released. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, I don't know the answer to the sugar um, pallets question yet. What should we do with them? Where should we sell them? Um, so, that will come uh, in an episode or two's time. But for now, we'll get this off the field. We will give it a rinse off. And we will then... I'm not sure, actually. I've took some more hay down to the beef cattle, who are now at £3,000 per animal. So a couple more months and they'll be ready to sell. That's cool. I'll be a bit more income. I could really do removing the uh, multi-press Simba look-alike thing. Let's go to... We'll go to this jet wash. Get this all cleaned off. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch up in a second. So, rather than wash the case off and the sprayer, we have emptied the herbicide out. We have bought ourselves enough liquid fertiliser, hopefully, to do a contract in field 67. Wow, as this hill is steep. that view though ah. um, yeah so we're going to do a fertilising contract in field 67 should bring us in about 45k we spent 9k on fertiliser so a decent amount of money should get us over the 600 grand mark so I think if we turn left here the field should then be on our right, I think. I don't think there's any traffic down here, but you never know. So let's head down here, get into the field, and make a start. This is quite an open field, and I was thinking to myself, oh, it would be quite nice to own this field. Or indeed, I think it's 68. Yeah, 68. And then I looked at the cost. 1.5 million for NAF soil. But 1 million, just over 1 million for decent soil. So, if anything, we'd go for build 68, I think. Um, but obviously, we're, ooh, tree. we're a little bit of a way off yet. Um, I think beginning of next year in game we will be in a position where we could invest a significant amount of money because i'll just stop for a second actually and just turn that off and take a look at our time saving stock check we have got 674 ish thousand late at thousand pounds worth of wheat uh, that we can sell in Jan. We have got barley, which we could sell a bit of. Uh, anything else? No. So the sugar should bring us in some money. But uh, yeah, it's our uh, grain crops that are going to be our money spinners thing. So yeah, there's, I mean, there's, we're nearly at 600 grand now. We will be by the time this contract's done. So we should be well over a million quid uh, come January. So I do think it's a real possibility that we could uh, buy a new field. So with the headland done, and this is our third up and down row, we are 40% through the field, and we've only got 31% left of the fertilizer um we might not be making as much money out of this as i first thought so we are going to need some more most definitely um we have got a partial ibc back down at the farm but i think what we're going to do for ease is uh, get some dropped off uh, by the store 
so we'll do that when we need it in fact if we can get to the end of this run we may uh, get the delivery made down on the track you can see in the distance but while we head down there something we haven't done for a while is the as he opens his book the awesome random useless facts so today's one is e is the most common letter in the english language e appears in 11 percent of all english words so there you go pushed a useful piece of information out of your brains so i'm guessing we're going to have enough to get to the end of the row so uh, when we do we'll get some uh, fertilizer delivered nearly said herbicide then but that would be a different contract altogether and uh, we'll get topped up and uh, see how far we can get so look at the animation as we sort of come off the headland into the up and down row you can just see the nozzles gradually turning on as we reach full width on the up and down row so we are now 64 percent through the contract now i should have looked at this before really um it estimates or it reckons we're going to use just over nine thousand liters uh of fertilizer brain went blank then i do apologize um seventeen thousand seems a lot i'm not sure what that's calculated off but uh i think we're going to be okay we've got about or 500 litres left in the IBC which is back there in the distance you can just see that white square cube but yeah it's quite a relaxing job this is and I know I said earlier and I asked earlier about the speed but yeah it's just nice plodding up and down the field it's quite a soothing sound and yeah just uh, taking in a spectacular view and uh, yeah gonna make ourselves some cash at the same time so we've just hit 86 percent complete on the contract i've been and emptied the other ibc into the sprayer and uh quite like this cluster of fields here um there's a farm there a grain silo system loads of bunkers sheds etc cows and what else was there oh yeah two lots of cows grain silo system loads of bunkers so that's quite a nice little lot of fields and a farm actually I do like uh exploring the map you just tend to find these little nuggets of brilliance i'm going to say because that's what i think but uh, yeah and now the sun is starting to go down you get the long shadows and relight really comes in to its own we can stop that there so i reckon we've probably got two passes i think before we are completely done we will be considerate contractors as always get some um what's it called cruise control there we go well oh, mind blank so yeah we've got probably another pass down this way then you've got the little bit there which i think was probably all covered by headland so as you can see from the mini map bit of a triangular shape down there and we should be nearly done 90 percent just popped up look top right hand corner you can just about see it i put it so it contrasts on the trees yeah 52 percent in the sprayer we should have plenty to finish this field well the contract is complete but like i said courteous contractors we're going to finish the job there we go that's that little run done and then we can spin around and there's a little slither down here that we'll grab as well but that's probably good timing the sun is starting to set on uh, quite a busy productive day 
on the oaks. Now I was just thinking about what to do next uh, episode that is don't worry I'm not going to drag this one on any longer um, I think we're going to start advancing time a bit quicker like I said previously and uh, I think the next point is going to be January once we can sell our wheat there we go that's that done um, so I'll feed the animals look after them etc etc it might be that we sell some cattle um a bit of uh november slash december beef just in time for christmas so we'll get an income from that um and then we'll be into spring really we're in a good place on our farm wowzers this is bumpy um we're in a good place on our farm now we've only got one field left to plant which will be uh, the soybeans and then the other thing that i really was thinking about is we're going to need a bigger planter because i am not using the uh the little um Vaderstat one is it Vaderstat? yeah uh, that we did for the sugar beet because uh it'll take an absolute age so I'm going to find a bigger one. My word, about getting thrown out the seat. Um, so yeah, going to find a bigger one. Uh, and um, we can get that done when the planting window opens for beans. But uh, yeah, so that's the plan. Don't want to hang around really. There's not a lot to do. Just feeding the animals. Selling the milk, which that does automatically for us. So uh, yeah. We should be, you know, next time we catch up, we should be into the next year. Um, like I say, if anything does amazing, anything amazing happens, I will capture it on video. But I can't see that being the case through the winter months on FS22. So final task of the day before we end the episode is to collect on our cash and... Hey, 631,635 pounds. So that is where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.